fire? <laughs> yeah? There was a couple times where, like, I, I terrified my mom. Because... I wanted to do, like, nice... Something nice for her. Like, I did it often. Uh, where I would... I would fill up, like, a bubble bath and take... So she... She... <laughs> she... She had candles, like, decorative candles all over the house. And, like, candles she would light up to, that would smell good and stuff like that. And, uh... I, I would gather them up from wherever they were. And set them, like, around the bathtub and light them. And I'd, like... I remember she had this, like... This basket full of, like, rose petal... Like, dried rose petal potpourri. And, uh... <laughs> I remember putting candles like on the floor in like a pathway to her bedroom so that when she got home she would see the candles and the pretty like rose petal potpourri that went into her bedroom and she would just she would get home and be all like relax and welcome to a bottle bat bubble bath what I didn't realize is that fire burns. <laughs> and so, like, I just set the candles on the floor, just straight on the floor. <laughs> no containers, no nothing. And, uh, she got home and freaked the fuck out. <laughs> because if those candles had, like, if those candles had, like, fallen over at any point, I definitely would have started a fire. <laughs> I definitely would have started a fire. <laughs> but I didn't. And I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I, uh, I went and took, uh, it did smell good. I, uh, kind of, actually. It was probably very overwhelming. Because I, she had, like, six different scented candles. And I lit them all at the same time. <laughs> so probably. I always thought, thought that counts. And I took her, I, she, like, went into the bath. And she enjoyed the bath for the night. 